guys, and welcome back to my channel, Microscope Beauty. I get asked all the time how I stay organized, how I get everything done from running my business to my YouTube channel to my blog. How do I manage to get everything accomplished? So I thought today would be a really great time to show you my planners, my setups, how I accomplish everything I get done and the planners I use to do it. So on average, I use about four planners and I know that seems a bit like overkill, but we're gonna get into them and explain exactly why it takes four planners. Could probably re be reduced down to three, but an even four works for me. So first up, my main planner is of course the Erin Condren. I use the hourly layout and I find that this is the best layout and the best planner for more general planning. I really like to keep this broad. I like to just write down events, meetings, and I also really like to decorate this planner. This is where I put all of my creativity. I like filling it full of stickers, designing it, making it really cute, adding in photos. This is the planner that I keep at the end of the year. It's the one that shows me what I got up to without being the nitty gritty of how I like all the little details or anything. This is more just the surface look at everything. So in order to break down those big picture ideas in the Erin Condren and get to the nitty gritty of how I'm gonna get it done, I use the Rifle Paper Co. Agenda. I love this because it's all about the to-do list. It has dated sections with about 12 lines, I think, in the large version, where you can write down what you need to get done that day. They have some smaller versions as well that are more portable and easier to like carry around. But I really like the chunk of this, like how big it is, because I can leave it on my desk or I can leave it open wherever I'm working to really see exactly what I need to get done. And I like that I can plan ahead in it and write down like next Thursday, I need to get this done because the deadline is Friday. So this is definitely a really great tool and a really great partner to the Erin Condren because it is strictly all about the to-do list. So those two planners do the bulk of the work for me. Those are the ones that if I could only have a set number of planners, those would be it. That's what I really need to accomplish everything. The next two ones are more like, added on they're really fun to use plus they are more portable so the first one is my a6 oh hello travelers notebook this one is i think i forget what this is called like the diamonds pattern and i use this for mileage tracking this is the planner that usually travels with me so it has a lot of notebooks for just like on the go to-do lists figuring things out like master to-do list for my house then it also has some calendars in the back that I use one for mileage and one for like jotting down if there's an event like if I'm out with my family and they're like oh we want to have a brunch day I can check that and see oh I'm actually busy or I'm free and then I can come home and incorporate that into my main planner system so this one is like super portable and really handy and then the next one is my b6 which is my awesome donuts cover. It's in the pink like color background. And I love this guy. This one I think is my favorite like size right now, which is really hard for me because I thought it was A6, but now it's B6. But I feel like that's the eternal struggle with traveler's notebooks. You just can't decide on a size, but this one is my meeting notes book. So if I have a meeting or I need to do some brainstorming for a project, this is where I write all of that down. So it has some good scrap paper room in there and my cute little notebooks. Let's see if I show you my cute little donut notebooks down in here. So I write down brain dumps, giant to-do lists. This is where like, if I'm feeling super overwhelmed, I head to this one because there's just more space to work in. Then I also have a Baron and Fig notebook in the back, but any notebook will do. What's really cool about RB6s is, is that the Erin Condren hardbound notebooks actually fit in here. So I have one back here and this is where I write like highlights or lows of a day, just interesting facts about things that happened that day. So like, um, on Saturday, I had a workout class and then we had lunch at parents. So it's kind of like a journal slash diary section where I just write down things that happened that it'd be really interesting maybe like six years from now to be like, oh, remember that time we talked about doing that one thing? Yeah, what was the date of that? I have a reference to look back on and be like, on June 3rd, we decided that we were going to do this. So I just thought it'd be a fun little addition. So. I have these two guys. They're not like essential, essential to my planning, but I find that they're really helpful to have so that I don't feel like I'm messing up my Erin Condren because that's the one I keep every year. 
So that can be more exact. Well, these can have all the doodles, all the bad ideas, all the good ideas all written out in here. And then I can transfer them in to the other notebooks if they're gonna actually make it into my to-do list. So there you have it. I hope that kind of explained my methods to stay organized, what I do, where I do it, and how I get everything done. If you want me to go into more of like nitty gritty, like what do I write in that? and how does it get transferred, anything, like literally anything you wanna know about the system, if you want me to go into more detail, let me know down in the comments. Also let me know what's your planning system. Do you have one planner? Do you have a couple? Are they kinda of like supplementary things like mine where they're not necessary, but it just gives me peace of mind? Let me know all that in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more, and also subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.